Hello everybody, so we're back again at this Ford Galaxy, it's a 2011 and you can see the fault has returned so the passenger side headlight is, headlight? Tail light is working but the driver side ain't. So I pulled codes on it again and I think if you can remember from my last video there was something about the horn, eh, there was other codes as well but you can see right position lamp has came back again. So that's a current, yeah, let's see, gives that information short to ground. Okay. And uh, it also got one about the passive anti-theft alarm system. I think we can, I wouldn't think these two were connected by, you never know right enough. And also this one down here, that gives you some of the freeze frame data. Although I don't think that actually means that much to us. But anyway, there it is. So what I'm going to do is try and clear the codes and see if I can get this light to come back on because in my mind, if that does that, I wouldn't think it's a wire issue as such. Could still be a wire issue. Could be high resistance or whatever in the wire, or a wire, a wire maybe touching ground somewhere. But let's try this first of all. I'll think about what it means. So we clear the DTC. So I'll read it again. comes right back. Maybe need to cycle the key right enough. You can see the light is still not on. The other side's on so let's cycle the key here. I'll put the lights off. Power down the ignition. What will do will close the door. Lock it. Once it locked you can see the flash in there. So we'll go back in, we'll start the car, put the lights on, so still nothing. So what we'll then try to do is put the lights off, put to position 2, see if we can then clear the DTC. It then clears. Let's put the lights back on. I wonder if the lights come back on. No. So <coughs> the other one's back on. So let's refresh. Let's refresh then. So that's saying no problem. So we'll come back out of that. We'll retrieve. So it's came back. Right, so I think what we're going to do, we'll go into the boot and we'll wiggle that connection that we worked away at the last time. Now the guy said, after I had done this the last time, it lasted about a week to 10 days, then the fault returns. So I reckon that the uh, connection just in there, I think that's the problem, but let's have a go again. So what we'll do this time, uh, you can actually see that the lights are on there. Oops. So you can see that light's on there, but I tried it before, <clears throat> once you clear the codes, this light attempts to go on and then it goes out again, so this is a strange one, this, so current is definitely passing, so what we'll go do, I'll go and clear it with the scan tool, so I'll go back, I'll retrieve these memory codes, so you see it comes right back, so we'll put the lights off, we'll refresh them, well that should come back, I should have cleared them. So we'll clear DTCs and because the light switch is off, that should clear out now. So you see that's good, so I'll go and switch the lights on. I don't know if you've seen that or not, I would have done it that time, but certainly it worked before. So you could see that that light came on there and then it just switched itself back off. So obviously the body control module is shutting that circuit down to protect itself. It must be pulling too many amps or 
I must see an imbalance in the two circuits. Hmm, strange one. Where do we go from here? Now, I've managed to locate that orange and white, white wire, yes. Right, you can see it. Oh dear, the shadows here. You can see it just there. That's the orange white wire, so what I'm going to do is pull that out and feed that and see if we get our lights coming on there. So, get my hand in about that. There's that wire there we'll look for. Better show you that. So that's orange and white, that's her man. Right, as you can see, it's now got to dark o'clock and, oh, oh, dear, dear. So, what I've decided to do now, I went right back down to the body control module. I've dis disconnected all the multi-plugs. So if, if you're ever doing this job, here we go. So I've located that orange, see that down there, that's the orange white wire, right? So that's part of this brown multi-plug, which is at the top of the board there, I'll get you, let's see. I'll get up to the top there. So you can see that brown plug up there, so that's the brown multi-plug. I then located the white orange wire within that plug and I put an amps clamp around it along with it. I've just uh, went into the wire. So I'm going to feed this up here, well Nathan's going to do it for us. And what we do, we, I'll use my old trusty power probe. Oh. Get that in there. And you can see there, I'm feeding power up that. And there we go, we're getting a reading. Getting a reading on our scope. So you can see our scope's reading 0.25. If we lay off that, it goes back to zero so that these lights are taking a f they're taking a fifth of an amp in fact we'll get nathan to do that nathan you want to do that son i got a better picture here so so you can see there there we go he's going for it there so there you go lay off nathan right so it goes back down give it again nathan so you can see there's actually not any spike in this signal because you're just powering leds so, what I'm saying here, I'll let you see the lights. So you, I'll just give you a shout, Nathan, when you press it. Right, right, Nathan. There you go, these lights are nice and bright. Again, Nathan. And they're only taking a fifth of an amp. So, with that one test there down to the body control module, I have concluded that the wiring's good and the light's good, the only thing you can condemn here is a driver within the body control module. I mean, that is, apart from a pin fitment issue, could be that there. Right? Again, Nathy, that's all good, so. Mm, but it's, it's like it's powering on the circuit, then it's turning it off, and there you go, it's consistent there, lay off, Nathy. There you go, a fifth of an amp, so. Do do do. Wonder if it's up with that. Right, we'll put it back together again. And we'll try it. Cheers. Right. So what I've decided to do is check the other side. Uh, exactly the same. So the the wire to the passenger side here in the UK, which we call the near side, is, is this wire here. It's purple green. See, it's purple green, and that goes all the way to the back. In fact, uh, I'll show you it later on. But anyway. So what we do again, Nathan, would you feed that again, son? And I'll keep your eye on the scope and we'll see how many amps that pulls. Are you in there, son? There you go, 23. So that's taking about... Let go, Nath. Again, son. So that's taking about 18 milliamps for all intents and purposes. So... Uh, there's hardly any difference in that. So I wonder why that is shutting that down. Let's put it on a smaller scale. 
Me voy a revisar. Oh, can you go in there? Is that your power, Nathan? No. Go and zero. Can you take that thing off, son? That's zero the amps clump. Right, so feed it power, Nathan. So it's taking 183 milliamps. Let it go, son. So that's a good side. Take the probe away, Nathan. And feed it again. Uh, 185 and off. Back then we'll, we'll try the other one. Will you hold the camera in, you son? Just keep it running and I'll go back to that other one. That's about a little scale. It's still at zero, Nathan. Zero again. Let's go for it. So there's a bit difference in it, right enough. Twenty milliamps difference. Oh, need to think about this one. Right, cheers. So that's the wire there. You can see it's purple, it's the second one down, purple, and if you look round the other side, it's purple, green, it's hard to see, believe me that one's purple green, so we're testing that and we're getting a 20 milliamp difference between the two, but is that enough for the computer to shut that down? Oh dear, don't know, right cheers. So what I've done here is, I've bypassed my wire, and I've cut the wire, and I've run a bypass wire, you can see I've put my Wego connector into that uh, purple wire, whatever it is, oh dear, this is so <laughs> difficult. So I've cut the wire, put that in, then I've run a fresh wire, just run it over the seats here, I'll show you where I put it into. And I've just put it in, oops, through the back there, into the white orange wire. So, let me see if the lights, we'll, we'll, I'll take you to the scope and let you see what happens here. So I'll clear the DTCs. Oh yes, and the lights are off. That's some clear. And they'll keep you in the scope and they'll put the lights on. The fault's cleared and then the lights are going on and you get this signal. There you go, and then it just shuts off again. So I'll show you that. The light just flickers for a little while. You can see the other ones are on nicely. And so that's where I a bypass wire and the other ones are not working at all. So, the only thing that can leave us with, I'll just turn this off. The only thing that can leave us with is the body control module or a pin fitment issue at that module. But, tried everything there, eh? So we're cutting the wire and bypassing that. Uh, no, unless there's some, no, can it be, well, could still be a component in the circuit, it doesn't light, but these, these lights seem good. But you don't think expect it to cut it off for the sake of 20 milliamps, come on now. Right, still thinking. Right, oh dear, after one, two, what's that? Three, three and a half hours. Here's my solution. So what I've done here is, I've used one of, I mean, it's horrible these things, but never mind. I've used one of these Scotch lock connectors. Put the camera the other way. And I've bridged the the orange white wire into the purple green wire. Not you can see that. Just bridged the two of them together. So all in all, you're pulling about what 400 milliamps. It's nothing. And the computer seems quite happy with that. So we've still got a fault code uh, for the right-hand side. 
So what I done, I went down to the body control module, I think I showed you, I just left the wire cut. And I tried an LED in there to see if it would even, a 20 milliamp LED, and it wouldn't even make that go. So there's something wrong, oops, right there. There's something wrong with the driver within that body control module that will not put these lights on. So that's all I've done there, just bridge right into that. And the lights work fine, I'll let you see them. Turn the lights on. There we go, it works now. Another one works as well. Uh, let me see. Uh, all these LEDs are working. So there seems to be a top row. Let's see this one. One, two, aye, all these are all these LEDs are working as well. I wonder if there was an LED out. No, but there's no. So apart from getting a new body control module, to me that's the the, the cheapest solution. I'll take you down to the, the body control. I'll let you just see that. I've, my lights have run out and everything. It's hard to see. It's up there. I've just left a wiggle connected. I've just capped it off. And just left that white orange wire cut. And just leave it. We'll see how it goes for here. But I've been scratch really scratching my head for this one. And I think it's a driver within this thing. That is kaput. So the only solution would be another body control module. There we go. Cheers.